Um, I had a bad knee um, and I also had an aggressive um, gene for cervical cancer, which I didn't know about. Um, sore foot, osteoarthritis. And, um, you ready? And three steps. Are you ready? On drugs and alcohol. That's power got on you. That's power got on your foot. You ready to receive? Okay. So what's your name? Donna. Donna, welcome. What was the problem? Um, I had a bad knee um, and I also had an aggressive um, gene for cervical cancer, which I didn't know about. And I was walking through the house and I heard the Lord say, um, oh, what are you going to do when the water gets stirred? And I thought, oh, get in. <laughs> and um, What are you going to do, what? When the water gets stirred, you know, the pool. And I thought, oh get in and then a friend rang and said oh there's this guy that does healings he's coming up the Sunshine Coast and I thought oh, I don't want to go to those things you have to stand there and you have to line up and everyone gets in front of you I'm not going to that and um, so I said no no if he comes to Brisbane I'll go and um, she rang back about oh well I got off the phone I thought oh my god was that you Lord <laughs> and so she rang back five minutes later saying oh he's coming to Clayfield this is last time you're here and um, so I thought... I'd so tell us what was wrong with your knee. Well, they told me I needed um, a knee replacement. That's serious. Yeah. So, and I did, wasn't keen for that. So um, I thought I'd stretch it out as long as I could and see what happens. And I come along here and, um, and my friend came too. She got healed of a heart problem. Um, anyway, she got up for prayer and she said, are you getting up? And I went, oh. And then I thought, oh, yeah, I better get up. So <laughs> I got up and I was standing in the line. I didn't even get to you. And... All down here was just shaking, and I thought, hmm, it's just be the Holy Spirit. So you're standing in the line, yeah. and the Holy Spirit comes on you, yeah. and you start shaking. In here, yeah. In your abdomen. Yeah. And, and, and what, what are you thinking? Well, I thought it must be the Holy Spirit. I thought, oh, okay, all right, cool. And then when we got up here, everyone started getting in front of me like that pool thing, and I'm stepping back. And then I get to you, and you go, are you ready to receive? And I'm thinking, probably not, because you're asking me. <laughs> So I just go, yes. <laughs> and then you go, are you ready to receive? I'm like, yeah, and you pray. And it was just normal and that. So I went and sat down and... Um, sore foot, osteoarthritis. And, um, you ready? And three steps. Are you ready? On drugs and alcohol. That's power got on you. That's power got on your foot. That's power. You ready to receive? Okay. But I le the biggest thing I learnt from you and your amazing podcast is to believe. It's not about claiming and naming and all that. It was about just believing in what Jesus has done and walking in that. And so the next day, I just kept thanking God. Every time I had a tinge, thank you, Jesus, healing my knee. I really don't have problems with my knee. I don't need an operation anymore. And... Someone say praise the Lord. And Let them praise the Lord. So that was... Two and a half years ago or something. Yeah. And then I went to the doctors and I'd had a pap smear. And that's when she told me I had that. And I'm like, oh, the Lord wouldn't have just healed my knee. And so I was just trusting and he ended up saying, you know, go and you'll have a better testimony than what you've got now. And I went, doctor couldn't even get the same result, had the biopsy, nothing there. And I just, and that's when I remember. So, so help us understand, you had a previous pap smear. Yeah, I, had a, I was pending, results were pending while I was here. I didn't think anything of it. And then when I went back, they said, oh, you, you need to go and see the surgeon. You've got this aggressive gene. You've tested positive for cervical cancer, aggressive type. And I went, oh, OK. And then I struggled because I thought, well, no, the Lord wouldn't have just healed my knee. Like, he would have done it all. And I didn't even think about the shaking. He would have done it all. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say he would have done it all. <laughs> he did. <laughs> And um, so then I went off, saw the surgeon. She couldn't get the same result. And I really was like, oh, you know, and the Lord said, it's okay. Because I didn't want to dishonour him. I wanted to trust him. And he said, go and you'll have a better testimony than what you've got now. And I went, okay. So I went and did it. And, and it wasn't easy, but did it. And it was when I was back in the chair and the doctor was telling me and I thought, oh, my God, I was shaking. He already did it. <laughs> it was so cool. So what did the doctor say about the second test? Oh, nothing there. What did he say? Just, just said, no, there's nothing there. You're all clear. And so, but she, th th she said, oh, but it can be up in the cervix higher up. We need to do a biopsy. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so, did it. Nothing there. Wow. All good. All good. Hallelujah. You know, 
And we've got another and here. And about, I think, six months after learning to walk like that, my husband was diagnosed with cancer and God has been healing him. And, um, yeah, we're still, we're still waiting for the full manifestation, but it's great. Like, he's gone ahead of us and prepared our hearts and, yeah, he's doing great stuff. <laughs> you know, Jesus is standing among us. Do you think they could all stand and clap Jesus? Absolutely. Yeah, praise God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God.